Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Well, good Monday morning. Waking up to a foggy, foggy morning. Now, for some, it's almost non-existent. For others, it's very thick and cuts your visibility uh, incredibly this morning. This is the view off Aubrey Butte, and you can see now Pilot Butte is fogged in, and uh, some of this has uh, just not quite made it to street level. In other areas, you're going to find that your visibility is reduced incredibly through the morning, so give yourself a little extra time to deal with this. 43 degrees with calm winds and at the Bend Airport at Roberts Field. It is 44 degrees and we're looking at a very light breeze out of the south. Uh, southerly breeze is also the spin-off of a storm the activity or storm activity that is working its way in our direction. It's all part of this low pressure center that is off the California coast. And all morning we've been pushing uh, rain showers through the southern portion of of uh, Lake County and a little bit into the southwestern portion of our state as well. Uh, Bend is not going to dodge this one. We are going to see uh, rain showers starting here before too long and it'll stay with us going into tonight. In fact, we may even have a thunderstorm or two out of this. Now this low pressure center off the California coast is not going to move very quickly. In fact, over the next couple of days, it just moves toward land a little bit more. That only increases our chance of seeing more rain showers. Consequently, we'll see rain through the middle of the week, <clears throat> excuse me, that probably won't break up until we get through Thursday morning. So plan on these uh, stormy conditions staying with us. And after all, Thursday is the first day of fall. We should be seeing a little change. Currently, we're in the low to mid 40s for much of central Oregon. What that doesn't show you at that elevation is that the upper Upper elevations here are looking at much colder temperatures, mid-30s to mid-40s now for all of central Oregon. Winds are not too bad, nor will they be through the afternoon. You are going to see a little bit of a shift. Right now, they're coming primarily out of the south. They'll shift and become a little more northwesterly this afternoon at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some areas for a short period, once that rain settles in, we'll see gusts that will be a little bit higher. Highs today will be in the low to mid 70s for most. There'll be some areas that will struggle to even hit 70 degrees. So we'll have a cool day today. A little warmer than yesterday, but still very chilly uh, nonetheless. And a mild night tonight. Uh, low to mid 40s for most of central Oregon. Well, we're looking at an extended forecast that is going to stay a bit on the chilly side. In fact, we'll get cooler as we get toward the middle of the week. Late Wednesday, Wednesday night, that'll be the uh, best chance of some rain showers. Expect this to stretch into Thursday morning, and that happens to be the first day of fall. Those chilly temperatures will stay with us until uh, we get through Thursday, and then we'll uh, turn around and get a bit of a warming trend here. By the time we get to the weekend, plenty of sunshine with mid-70s on Saturday, low 80s on Sunday.